Hello everyone, good morning. First of all, I miss everyone. We all miss you in the group classes. We hope to be doing it together soon. But now, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to bring you these virtual flows. And it's good that people who normally wouldn't take uh, self-practice now are kind of forced to sit at home and maintain their practice. So we look for the good in everything. And during the practice, we're going to observe our breath. So I have all new flows to bring you. I'm very excited to do so. My name is Sean. If we haven't met or had a chance to practice yet together. So we begin as we always do at the back of the mat in Sukhasana. Easy pose. Any comfortable seated position that you would like Sitting up with a nice straight spine, connecting to your sit bones. And place the hands, palms down on the knees. And close your eyes and focus on your ujjayi breath. The breath returns us to the present moment anytime we remember to access it. Now let's bring that hands to prayer at the heart center of Namaskar and Mudra. And think of at least three things that you're grateful for that come to mind right now. Set your intention, Sankalpa. Just focus on your reason for practicing for a few breaths. Guide the prayer hands to the throat, to the third eye, and to the crown, Shiva. Elbows wide, shoulders relaxed. Then open your eyes, look forward at a full Begin to straighten your arms up towards the ceiling and like a snake, slither the arms from side to side, stimulating Shakti, the Guru, the Kundalini, moving from sit bone to sit bone. This is very effective to access the diaphragm. Just a few times. And then come right back to center, grounded on your support. Lock the thumbs together, turn the palms forward, and reach up, reaching the eight fingers up towards the heavens. Then bring the hands towards the top of the mat, balasana, child's pose, knees wide, sitting onto your heels, breathing deeply into your belly, balasana. Then, keeping the arms on the back long, walk the hands to the left with your right ear down. Just breathe into that right side. Release back to center, third eye down, child's pose. And then switch sides, keep the back and arms long wall to the right with your left ear down. And then come back to child's pose again. A couple more breaths here. Maybe you can open the knees and arms a little wider. And 
then flip the toes as you walk the hands back to the knees. Sitting on the heels with the knees open. It's basically toe stretch with the knees open. Vajrasana, diamond hero pose. Place your hands on your thighs, palms down, and look forward at a focal point. We begin the class with pranayama, building heat, internal heat. So, first, bring the hands to prayer at the heart. Begin to rub the hands together up and down the center line of the body. Immediately, you feel the fire, the friction, the heat energy build up. Then, prayer hands to your third eye, elbow is wide, ignition, the arm and the fire. Interlace fingers, bring it under your chin directly. Keep the hands and the chin connected. This is posture for the bellows breath. I'll give an example and then you can uh, follow along when you're ready. We inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Together, go. Close your eyes if you'd like some mountains added to it. Make this your last one. Exhale, release the hand. Left hand behind you to your right heel. Right hand to your left hip. Look over your left shoulder. And then, without moving the hands, look over your right shoulder. The double helix, double twist. Then, release the arms. Right hand behind you now to the left foot. Left hand to the right hip. Gaze right. And then, look left without moving the hands. A double twist, double helix. And then back to center. Radiate the palms by your side facing forward. Reach through all the fingers out to the side like wings and up above your head. Lock the two thumbs together. Reach up. Exhale. Bring the eight fingers down to the floor. Eight is Ashtanga. Eight is infinity. Weight in the hands. Bring the knees off the floor. Bring the knees out to the side. Feet soul to soul. Pashupati's pose. Hands in Shin Mudra, the seal of knowledge. Place the hands inside of the knees, pushing the knees back. If you need your hands on the floor for balance, by all means use them. Feel like you're breathing in through the feet. Then bring the hands to a diamond at your roots and genitals. Bring the diamond up to your belly button, Manipur. Bring the hands to prayer at the heart, Anahata and to the throat Vishuddha, to the crown above Sahasrara, and then straight up towards the heavens. Pull the belly in, breathe in through your feet. Lock the two thumbs once again, guide eight fingers to the earth. Bring the knees up, open the feet a little wider, heels down, Malasana, squat. Then, offer the hands forward, palms facing up, back of the wrists on the floor. We remember Yama's Niyamas, Yogi, Ethics, and Morals. The way we treat ourselves, the way we treat others. These are the first two limbs of the practice. Then, bring the left hand out to the left. The arm is in front of the left leg. Inhale the right arm up, looking past the right thumb. If you want to add more, bring your left hand off the floor as well, looking past your right ear. And then release the hands to prayer, elbows wide, looking forward. And switch sides, balance. Right hand to the right, left arm up, look at the thumb, and flow right hand off the earth if you fancy. Okay? Come back to center. Reach the arms forward, claw the ground with the ten fingers. Look forward at a focal point at the top of your mat, your Rishi. Then, claw your way out of this gracefully into tabletop, guiding your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Now let's work with the wrist here for a second. Take the left hand and flip it so the fingers are facing back towards you, the back of the left wrist on the floor, trying to straighten the left thumb. Take the left thumb inside of the palm and make a fist around the thumb. Inhale. Exhale, release the fist, push the wrist down. One more. Inhale, bring the thumb in, squeeze the fist. Exhale.
exhale, release, straighten the wrist. And really shake that wrist out as much as possible. Mind your limit. Coming back to tabletop. Flip the right hand back of the wrist on the earth. And then inhale as you squeeze the thumb into the palm. Exhale, straighten the arm and push the wrist out. One more. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, straighten. And release, shake that hand out. Wasn't that nice? Release any extra energy builds up from that. Come back to tabletop. Dance in line. Close your eyes. Circle to the right. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Listen to the value, the wind in you. Streamline hand and shin mudra beyond mudra. 
Release back to that other dog. Push the heels down. Right hand grabs the left ankle. Look up to your left arm. Okay. Then come back to the plank. Knees down. Elbows in the right chest and chin down. Slither onto the belly. Inhale up. Push on the outside. Exhale down.
Left knee down, cactus arms, 
to the right pocket, right hand to the left pocket. Sit up straight and twist, look over your left shoulder. Don't move the hands, look over your right shoulder. Release right hand behind you to the left pocket, left hand right pocket. Squeeze the center line and twist your right. Look over your left shoulder. Then release the fingers down outside of the shins. Engage your pelvic floor. Pull the belly in. Lean back if you can, if you can. Bring the knees up a bit. If that's easy, bring the head close to the knee. Mind your head. Okay? Release the knees down. Whatever happened, happened. Tabletop. Downward dog. Consciously fire walk. Heel toe steps to the top of the mat. Try to find that heel toe placement. It's wonderful. When you reach the top of the mat, feet together. Forward fold. All right, round the back of your legs, bring the head to the shin, or toes. Good. Then hands on the hips, bend the knees. Now you have one foot. Stand up all the way up. Inhale the hands up in the air above your head. Exhale on the start. Now sink the hips down, keeping the knees bent, preparing for prayer to this very occasion. Sinking hips down, down, down. Keep the pelvis as it is. Right elbow, left thigh, prayer twist. Take the left hand behind your back to your right pocket. Right hand outside of the left leg. Look left. That's your left shoulder. Okay? Don't come up. Keep the pelvis as it is. Release back to prayer. Left elbow, right thigh, prayer twist. Right hand behind your back to your right pocket. Back of the left hand outside of the right leg. Reach up to your toes, exhale back, bend with your thumbs. Come back to center with control. Arms out to the side, palms up, bend the knees. Right arm under the left, eagle. Sink down, pulling the forearms away from the face and internal rotation of the shoulders. Bend, left knee, bring right knee up to the elbows and higher the better. Right leg wraps around the left knee, you can wrap as tight as you want. Bring the shoulders back so they're above the hip or balance. Then, balance. <laughs> and then reach the elbows up. Bring the elbows to the knees. Reach your forearms away from the face the whole time. Good. Unwrap the arms. Reach the arms out to the side. Come to the middle finger, like wings, line. Unwrap the right leg, point the right big toe to the moon, hands to the floor, standing split, or Hekapada Uthanasana, if you're not a super flexible person. Now, take the left hand, grab the back of the left hand. Bring the head towards the left leg. Good. Release left hand down, bring right knee to the nose. Weight in the left hand, right hand peace through your ribs, right big toe, kick it out to the side. Lateral extension. Release, right hand to the floor. Step right foot back, lunge, and look forward. Kick left foot back, open the hip. Close the hip, keep the arm. Kick left heel back, come high on the right tippy toe. Left foot steps through the lunge. Strong lunge. Look forward, bringing your fingers out to the side like wings, and up, hands in prayer. Anjaya Asana. Roll the knee forward, look up at the moon. Good, reach the prayer hands forward. Step into the left foot, bring the right foot up. Hands to the floor, landing on the moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Open that right hip. Right arm up. If you want, you can grab the ankle and kick it. If you want. Good, release. Right hand down, right knee to the Stay in your balance, kick right foot back, reach the head forward. Left arm up, revolve. Grab the ankle if you want. Good, release. Left hand down, bring right knee to the nose. Right foot steps back, lunge, look forward. Left foot back, three legged dog. 
Left knee to nose, left knee to right tricep, slide left foot to the right side while I'm fitting. Right hand down, open left hip, point the toe, flip your dog. Beautiful. Unflip knee to nose, down your dog, heels down, hips back. Bang. Check it out, baby. Up dog. Right foot stretch through the lunge. Left heel 90 degrees, windmill up. Look back at the left hand, warrior two. Left hand reaches down the leg for your weakness. Right hand reaches up for the stars, your strength. Right thumb to the bump on the back of your head. Left arm binds behind the back. Roll your heart up, look up. Right hand up, shin mudra. Right hand behind the back, left hand up, shin mudra. Straight leg, look back at your left hand, palm radiating. Reach the right hand forward, palm closed, a bite. Push through your weather. Right hand to the floor outside the right foot, left arm up. Trick variable, a trick on us. Bend the knee, left bicep to here. Utita, parsoka, Okay, windmill up, look back at the left hand. Right hand to the heart. Hands to prayer at the heart. Rotate heart forward. Step into the right foot. Reach the hands forward. Left. Arms out to the side. Lead with the heart and the throat. Hands on the hips. Bend right knee. Bring the left knee forward. Peace finger grip left knee toe. Or grab the knee if you can't grab the toe. Okay. Bend left elbow. Bring head to your left knee. Release. Slide it out to the left side. Look at the right hand. Easy, bro. 
from the hands to prayer for heart. If that's easy, bring the hands forward, shoulder width, palms down, abide. Bring the knees down, whatever happened, happen. Straight the elbows, up out the chest, up the chin. Hands to prayer at the heart. Prayer twitch, right elbow, left thigh, look left. Double helix, look right. Release, hands to prayer at the heart, reach up and back, up the good. Come back to center, left elbow, right thigh, right prayer twist, look right. Look past your left elbow. Shoulders straight up. Bring the right knee off the ground. Counter pose, point 